Bobob, you're still here? Yep. Okay. Are we recording, Joe? Yep. Okay. So with the clarification now pretty much established, Bryce would say uh, we called for Imperial Guard support with the resistance we were having from the locals and uh, a few platoons came in with armor as support. But uh, they told us it would be no big problem and immediately deployed. And shortly thereafter, a few of the surviving Imperial Guard returned saying that their leader, one Captain Leonard Bulgris, had gone renegade and taking half of the vehicles that they had destroying the other half, and then proceeded to start bombarding us with the uh, the armor. And I thought that you had been sent from the Imperial Guard to undo the mistake that Captain Leonard Bulgress was. I've got men jumping at shadows, and I got a overzealous commissar officer breathing down my neck and the necks of all my men. Not that I'm complaining that commissars are a fine bunch, but uh, he, uh, I don't intend to disappoint him any further than I apparently already have with my command, if you understand. Uh, Billy, I, I must return to my work. May I please just assign uh, someone to you to speak about this further? Excellent. Uh, Private, he, he'll motion for one of his assistants. Please lead these uh, uh, people to... Um, uh, oh, sorry, didn't even get your names. Uh, read your names with him. I'll, I'll, I'll review the files later. Uh, have him... Uh, have... Uh, did, uh, uh, Sergeant Grace, uh, she was promoted to uh, the field commander by that uh, commissar, wasn't she? Yes, yes. Uh, have Grace handle these, uh, oh, sorry, Steyer. He'd be saying Steyer, not Grace. Uh, have Steyer uh, uh, pr assist these, uh, these people. Thank you. And he uh, will immediately get back to his paperwork. Do any of you dawdle in his office or will you uh, be led by the private? I want to keep following them. Let's follow. I'll follow the people in charge. I'm just a peon. I don't know anything. Okay. So, I'm going to switch maps. Uh, you'll basically be led out to the uh, yard. Uh, it's still an enclosed bunkered area, fenced in, etc. And um, basically, uh, you'll arrive pretty much just at the same time she's arriving with a, she'd have a squad of soldiers with her. Uh, not that you could tell at the moment she is wearing the helmet that you see on the token, uh, but the private would uh, ask you all to just hold still a moment and he'd run up to her. Um, would you actually hold still or would you follow the private?
I don't know anything about proper military uh, procedure, so I would just look what Len would do. Okay. So um, he his voice is low enough that you'd have to roll an awareness to overhear what he's saying to the uh, sergeant. Or Are they within? Sergeant. Is one of them within seeing distance of me? The, she's wearing a helmet, and he his back is turned to you. Okay. God darn it, today is not my day. Yeah, they did ask you. But it is. He asked, he, he told you to hold still for a moment and he went over to her. She was about 25 meters or more away. He ran over to her to talk to her. And I'm just wondering if any of you would be able to overhear. Haley, are you going to try to listen in? Uh, might as well try. <laughs> I failed. Yeah. None of you, but eventually uh, she would basically salute her men and dismiss them. If she would come over. Hey, wait, she, wait. I rolled 31. Yeah, it wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough? Damn. No, there, was a, there was a pretty substantial penalty. Okay, okay. He lowered Fair his enough. voice, and she's wearing a helmet, so it's muffled anyway. Uh, but she would approach, and she would salute Lynn. And uh, stand at attention. And uh, Lynn, would you introduce or would you expect her to introduce herself first? Ma'am, I am Sergeant, uh, excuse me, uh, Field Commander Grace Steyer. Uh, she would remove her helmet carefully. Uh, it's pretty clear she's had it on for a while. She's kind of a bucket of sweat under there, but um, she'll uh, just sort of wipe off her brow. She's got rather severe burns on the one side of her face. Her hair is cropped short. Um, she She's got this slight hint of a smile, but it's one of those sad smiles, kind of like the one Talia had been having for the last three months. And uh, she'll stand rather square-shouldered and say, uh, the private tells me that uh, uh, Lieutenant Commander uh, Bryce has uh, indicated I'm to assist you with something. And oh shit! Um, the expression on her face. Um, she immediately bites her own lip, and uh, you can see tears welling up under her eyes as she uh, takes a, a kind of pained breath and says, uh, "As she, she then put the helmet back on, uh, so." to basically hide her face and ask if uh, we could all go inside and uh, do a, a proper briefing. All right. Um, as she's walking by the rest of you, her head uh, will turn to just sort of glance at each of you briefly uh, but you can't see her eyes so you can't really see what she's looking at exactly and uh, would any of you try to chit chat while walking through the halls or would you allow it to go through silently Vern chit chat nah Okay. 
And eventually, uh, actually, while walking in the halls, do, 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 this character would become visible. Her helmet will be off. Um, and she'll be walking down the hall and she'll pass Grace and look at the rest of you and then stop back up and kind of just tap Grace on the shoulder as uh, Grace is walking by and say, uh, what's going on? Uh, Sire will sigh again and say, uh, it looks like we've got some uh, special guests. Uh, why don't you stick around and uh, hear what they have to say? Uh, at this point, the uh, other woman will roll her eyes and say, yeah, okay, sure. And uh, she'll follow Grace as well into one of the side offices. Everyone sticking together? Yep. Mm -hmm. Why not? Okay. It would be a shame to get separated right away. That's better, but I don't think her willpower is quite... Yeah. All right. So uh, she will take off her helmet, and it will be clear that um, Sergeant Grace had been uh, crying. Her eyes are kind of red, and uh, she's actually caused a bit of bleeding to her lip. She was biting down on it so hard. But uh, there's basically a white board in the room, and she'll keep her back to you for the most part and basically draw a map very rudimentary of the entire area on the white board. And um, so you guys want to zoom out and you'll see where the arrow is? Zoom. Keep zooming. Keep yeah, yeah. zooming. Okay. okay. So she'll explain that um, the Imperial Guard arrived and they went up the escarpment at the roads and they were planning to what they believe was the general headquarters of the rebellion, um, the resistance was over in this area, either in the hive structure or just outside the hive structure. Their plan was to just go on up there, eradicate the command of the resistance, and um, you know, hopefully that would cut the beast off at the head, and then they could just mop up the uh, stragglers from there. She doesn't know exactly what happened, but uh, reports from the soldiers who made it back alive state that the uh, leader, uh, she avoids saying his name, uh, of the Imperial Guard that were deployed. Um, she also kind of has a lot of difficulty saying this, uh, betrayed them and uh, killed a full half while the other half remained loyal to him. Uh, they seized the vehicles and uh, have set up a defensive perimeter. Uh, we have lost uh, many, many soldiers since then trying to take the uh, escarpment, uh, but we just get shelled the hell out of when we try to get close by the Medusas. And uh, one or two of the Medusas keep barraging uh, the grave that we're attempting to work on, uh, just decimating any of the machines that venture too far south. And um, since we've pretty much filled up the north half of the grave, we've got to continue our work in the south half. Uh, any questions thus far? Mm, I don't have any questions. How many uh, Medusas are we talking about here? Uh, they had brought uh, 15 total. We don't know how many remain functional. Quite a few. They also had uh, 20 Hydra. I <sighs> only just but, fucking page. So the only option... 
what was that? I was going to say, Alex, so the only option is from the ground if they have even half of that, half of those hydras operational. <laughs> um, yeah, if you approach by the ground, you get shelled by the Medusas. And if we yeah. fly, we get to get shot out of the air rather quickly. Exactly. We are in a very difficult position now. Uh, worse off than we were when it was just the rebels. But we don't know exactly. We, we've had some differing reports from the surviving Imperial Guardsmen. Um, everyone give me a quick scrutiny. In my training scrutiny. Oh. Nope. Okay, so this is <laughs> me. Boom. That's the second nine for Vern tonight, by the way. Yep. <laughs> nope. Zeech is here. Haley. Oh, sorry, what was that? I said Zeech is here. Vern has rolled ah. two nines. <laughs> um, nah. Separate occasions. But Vern and Haley will both notice that um, the other woman who was brought in by uh, Grace when she met her in the hall will kind of uh, look uncomfortable at that suggestion that the reports have been differing. <laughs> so are either of you going to remark or anything? Or Haley says, Haley says to her, what's wrong? Uh, well, someone is like raping their microphone. Sorry, but it just, ow. Okay, it stopped now. Um, so you're saying you're asking what's wrong to the other woman? Mm -hmm. uh, she'll just sort of say, no, nothing. No, miss, uh, sorry, not Miss. Uh, Commander, feel uh, Commander Styers giving a report. I wouldn't want her to interrupt. No, no, you reacted there. What's going on with these reports? At that point, uh, Grace will look to the other woman. The expression is hard to tell because her back's mostly turned to you, but um, the other woman will sigh, give a little salute, say she's specialist, Dyla Dolly. They call her Dead Eye. She'll remark, they call me Dead Eye. She'll kind of scoff. Um, but I've been doing reconnaissance and I can say quite safely that Captain Bulgress has taken up residence in the Whitehead Tower. Is that the tower in the south? Yeah, the one with that great big ugly banner hanging off of it. <sighs> Do you think there's any way that you could get close enough to actually get into the building? get into the building. I'm not that suicidal, but I have made it up the escarpment uh, a couple of times to try and take out some of the people operating those heavy artillery, but I, I just don't have the supplies to actually finish the jaws. And anytime I've killed someone, they chase me out of there pretty quick, and they just seem to get more men to replace the ones I kill. Well, that's kind of my specialty, infiltration. Well, if you want to try it too, be my guest, but uh, I've done it a few times and it hasn't seemed to make a real dent in their operations. Uh, what are you asking exactly, Jess? Like the whole thing is the city. I think she's saying that is the majority of the uh, the defense is focused toward where the planet defense forces are, but do they have any like facing toward the where the farmland and the airport are? Okay, it's still not quite getting you. Did you not see my arrow? Mm. 
Well, they will remark that the entire escarpment is pretty much secured by the renegades. Uh, but concentration, according to Dahlia, is in the Whitehead Tower. And that's primarily what they're defending. Uh, she will remark that they've got uh, patrols and vehicles as far north as uh, or northeast as this that she's personally spotted, but uh, she says there could potentially be more she hasn't seen there. Uh, and this zone, we've got some uh, other issues where they have uh, ground forces that they have no issue with shelling the hell out of themselves. This has actually been the path that um, that crazed commissar told the remaining Imperial Guardsmen to go take with uh, several of our planetary defense force soldiers. And again, only a few made it back alive. They were saying they were getting shelled extremely badly and the enemy was shelling their own men just to kill us. Huh. Dahlia will nod to that with a kind of a grim resolve of yeah. Uh, still, Steyer keeps her back mostly turned to all of you, uh, looking at her blackboard diagram. start what in the crater you that'd be suicide i mean that's why we've had to resort to wearing all these gas masks all the time they they nope I think she means getting rid of the Medusas. How are the enemy, uh, how are the enemy forces if we say take this northernmost pa- northernmost road into these farm fields to circle around and go this way? Uh, it would be a fairly long trek, and um, I haven't personally gone that way, but I've heard there's a minefield set up out in the farmland in that area. Okay. Oh, lovely. So the choice is either straight through enemy encampments, emplacements that they're willing to shell their own, straight through the strongest points of the defensive line, or we deal with a minefield. There is potentially one other option. Um, that, that would be, uh, sorry, Dahlia speaking. Uh, at this point, Steyer's still pretty much mute. Uh 
Dahlia will point to the bridge, saying it's not safe enough to drive vehicles over, but um, other than being, you know, wide in the open and sniper bait, uh, you could potentially cross here and then head south and avoid the hot zone. That's right where the uh, escarpment meets the marsh. The only issue is I don't know about any of our scouts getting around this way. Um, I haven't been given permission to cross the bridge. And uh, when I attempted to, to suggest it to either commander, I was shot down in my suggestion. question but I might as well ask anyway any possible underground passages we were told the Imperial Guard would help us with that if their first assault didn't succeed Tyrion is going to go over Sorry, to the what were you asking about Jess is going to attempt to console the field commander when there's a minute. Well, uh, as long as I have orders to do so, I could try, but I work best alone, frankly. Uh, at that point, actually, uh, Steyer would chime up saying, no, Dally, I think I'm going to have to give you orders to um, continue helping our uh, guests here. I, uh, I, I have other things to attend to, and she'll pretty much dismiss herself unless any of you stop her from leaving. No, I won't. We have the Burnwood. Most... Wood. Okay. So whoa, whoa, whoa. Gonna... whoa. What's, what's the rush? Sir, I uh, I have a lot to attend to. I, I've been promoted to field commander here. I have a lot of soldiers that need my expertise. Uh, we, we're losing the war here, and I can't waste time. And it has nothing to do with the commander. What was his name? Captain Bulgars. Uh, now that oh. the one who... Oh, Commander Bryce? Turn coat. Commander Bryce, yeah. Oh, no, oh, no okay. okay. Captain Bulgress is the renegade. Uh, actually, yeah, I guess I should put these names somewhere for you to see. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I'm just going to make Bryce visible again. So Bryce is the one in the office doing all his work. You haven't okay. seen yet what Bulgress looks like. Captain Bulgress is the renegade. Okay, Bulgress. And this has nothing to do with Captain Bulgress. Uh, da, 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 da. Holy shit. <laughs> She's having a really rotten day. Oh, wow. Um, she is once again going to put her helmet on and uh, try to push past you, Vern. No, no. I, I want to hear. I will... I will plant myself in her way. And you're basically going to have her. to make a. You're going to have to make a um, uh, an attack to prevent her from like just jumping past you, sort of thing. So what do I roll? You're going to have to make a melee attack if you want to stop her. And her attempt to dodge. All right. So um, 
do stop her from getting out of the room and she is she's definitely not handling the stress and her voice is cracking under the stress she just keeps saying please 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 let me go just i have to go i i i need to get back to work please just let me go no there's definitely something you're not telling about the, the commander here Tyrant Between is gonna come captain. It, 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 captain. Yeah. Captain. Captain. Tyron is gonna come over and and ask um Steyer, do you have some sort of connection to the renegade commander? Captain. Okay. So um Vern give me an intimidate and Tyrion give me an inquiry. I can't try to charm it out of her? Charm, sure. Oh, for... Ah! That's a nine and a six. I'm just going to mention that. Yeah, I don't know. Nine and six, that's the third 96, I think, this uh, session. And yep. two of them have me. both been from... Well, no, two of them have been from poor Grace here. But okay. I was really hoping that this wouldn't have been revealed so soon. But um, she, she's just going to fucking fall apart here. Uh, Dahlia, or uh, Dyla will immediately come to her rescue, basically. And um, she, she's just sort of on the ground, just losing her fucking mind in uh, tears. And she pulls her helmet off again. And um, at this point, um, she, she's pretty much incoherent uh, with just the amount of emotion. But it's Okay, so Lynn's going to be doing something off to the side with Talia and Haley. Oh, welcome back, Joe. But yeah, so uh, she she's she's inconsolable, right? Inconsolable, inconsolable, Consol- inconsolable right now. Well, I'm gonna attempt to question that I. I was just about to say that uh, Vern will give a uh, look like. Okay, what's all this? You'll get a look back that says this is a woman thing. So like both not. of you give me your rolls again. Oh, hello. Jesus Christ! Burn, <laughs> do you want to use uh, your last state point? Yeah. <laughs> come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you have one state point remaining. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so uh, Dahlia will look kind of surprised, like, uh, okay, you're with the Arbites. I uh, get that. Uh, I don't know who you are, though, miss. But look, um, it, it's not my place. She's my superior officer. I just, uh, it's, it's, I've heard that. Uh, Uh, Bobov, you're typing something? I was going to type something, but he... I was just going to make a joke as well, but he beat me to it. Um, Dallas, how about I, I just... I get her back to the barracks. Like, I mean, she's clearly been having a really rotten day, and I'll come right back here to, to finish talking with you guys. that sound good? <sighs> Fun... Okay. Well, we're waiting here. Great. Thanks. Thanks. And she'll help 
Grace back to her feet and say, oh my God, you're losing it. Pull it together. One pull it together. And she'll head out into the hallway. I hope to God the commissar doesn't catch wind of this. Yeah, really. Uh, (laughs) Is anyone going to try and follow them? Yes. Okay, so Talia, or not Talia, Tyrion, you have uh, shadowing, right? Mm Mm-hmm. So go ahead and roll your shadowing. Oh, five. There you go. That's the stuff. So, yeah. Uh, we'll come back to you in a minute. Uh, oh, would you leave Anne in the room or would Anne follow you? I would leave her in the room. Okay. Um, so, Talia will look to Lynn and say, I'm supposed to have an opinion on this? What's everyone's decision on this matter? We either have A, snipers, B, enemy enforcements that are going to be shelled by the enemy as well, C, the strongest enemy emplacements, or D, a minefield. You forgot E, all of the above. (laughs) Despite that being a joke, um, (laughs) sending a distraction in one direction while you go and, well, Sending distractions in all directions while you take the path of least resistance could have merit if you're willing to sacrifice every soldier there is. What else is is the guard for? (laughs) (laughs) It's true. They need to serve. The problem is that's a massive building we have to take with only six people. We're going to need guard reinforcements if we're going to take that building. Yeah. That's why we are thinking how to get rid of the fucking um, artillery first. It's the biggest problem that we have at the moment. We can just use the Zap branding as a strategy. Keep throwing men after men at them until they're <laughs> out of ammo. We, yeah, we're going to need the reinforcements if we're going to take that high building. Or... Oh. I hate to say this, but Mike Tyson did mention they have limited operable bombardment capability. We can get to the tower, we can mark it to be blown. Oh, sorry, that's something I did forget to mention to all of you. You would have been given one uh, Voxcaster device, a uh, pretty hefty thing, so Vern would probably be the one carrying it. Uh-huh. It's basically the size of a backpack all on its own. I can see it just mounted to the side of his head. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I see they mounted to the side of his head because they couldn't find anywhere else to put it. Ah. <laughs> uh, Haley, um, give me a quick roll. Hey, give me. <laughs> uh, actually, I think that is um, your. 59. Damn, you're five short. Okay. Uh, Vern, you could also give a roll, though. That's more like it. Vern, you would not... uh, You would tell Lynn it would probably be the best not to try and take the... um, Uh, artillery back into your possession, destroying it is the much safer path because uh, considering the symbol on the banner, those artillery tanks, um, touching them might not be a good idea. Yeah. So the, as Alex is going to voice up her opinion is that we need to get across the bridge and somehow draw, this is 
disengage or disable or destroy whatever we can. This area right here, the main point, the Kamazawa center forces through. Try to make that usable for why whatever forces are left here so they can go around and try to take the tower. For That's the quickest huh? route. Okay. Uh, you using that, Frosty? Yeah, I said what? I, I don't understand your okay. plan at all. Plan is that we're going to need those planetary defense forces and those whatever Imperial Guard are left to take that big yeah, building. That is. Yeah, so the only uh, so the, this right area right here was the area where the enemy encampment was where they were bombarding themselves as well. No, it was down. No, on no, the there, there wasn't an encampment. It was strictly just uh, they had soldiers in this area that were pushing back the advance of the PDF and the Imperial Guard, and. Siege weapons from up here were just firing indiscriminately into the area. Okay. Well, we need to disable those guns if we can to bring the PD, to bring the PDF and the Imperial Guard forces within striking range of that tower. Through this area right here. I hear empty popcorn pole. It's not quite empty yet. <laughs> oh no, no, now it is. Getting there. <laughs> yeah, sounds like it. Sounds like you're so, scraping the bottom. I'm just kind of wondering why 69, 96, 66, and 99 have become so popular in the past two weeks. We've done something to arouse the attention of Slanesh and Zeech. <laughs> because both Sun Ash and each want dead ass. And now it's affecting everybody else in the group as well. That's true. If we can distract some of the artillery shells towards the north, we'll be able to sneak a force into the south easier. Mm -hmm. Um, there's only six of us, and I highly doubt we can take those replacements by our own. Well, I don't know. Small group could get quite close without noticing, getting noticed. I mean, we're talking about, you know, army trying to get down the, you know, artillery. They get in and they get bombarded to hell, but we're talking about six people, quite a small group. Burns have to have enough weapons there to take out a small tank, so... He's pretty much a leaving, breathing Lehman Russ himself at this point. Pretty much. <laughs> Beans and blades! <laughs> He, wishes he was a brain blade at this point. <laughs> Only thing I lack is the mass. 
And the big fucking cannon. No, you got a big salt cannon. That's pretty big. Yeah, but, you know, I don't have that big, big fucking cannon. You know, that big light. Devastator or whatever it's called? Yeah, something like that. Point is, we're going to do that. We'll get there to, eventually. We have to do it. We have to be in and out as quickly as we can, because once they send reinforcements, that we won't be able to hold a, hold the line at all with only us. Well, I don't think they will be able to send reinforcement immediately. I don't think. Lynn makes a very excellent point. Um, and something we're going to actually uh, reveal quite shortly uh, is the whole morale front. A small victory would go a long way for these people, mm -hmm. even though you haven't seen exactly just how far gone morale is yet. If the commander is breaking like that, the morale is pretty freaking low. Well, she's just a field commander. She commands a small platoon. Well, she was a sergeant yeah. originally, and she got promoted up because everybody above her is dead other than the lieutenant commander and the commissar. But the commissar is technically a separate military force. And Vern broke her. <laughs> Good job. Well, I rolled a 96 on her first willpower. She meets you all, and then you, you bring up uh, Bulgress's name, 96. Fuck. <laughs> I'm bad at my job. I must break you. Bye. <laughs> We're just going around. I must break you. Da, 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 da. Oh, there's a person. I must break you. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, another person. I <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I just picture this. I just feel really sorry for whatever people are like on patrol in the enemy line. They pass through a dark corner or alleyway along their route. Burn suddenly appears from the shadows. <laughs> or rather, or rather, people are like, huh, where did Vern go? I don't know. Maybe you should follow that line of depressed and broken people. <laughs> Are we going to go to me? Uh, we're just waiting for Jeff to say, what, oh, there we go. By the way, I have to leave in like five minutes to get ready. Okay. For All right. We'll, we'll wrap it up shortly then. Uh, do you have enough time to, or well, I guess it makes sense for you not to know what uh, Tyrion is doing. And so... Uh, very sorry to have uh, kept you up all night, Frosty, but I'm glad we got to do this uh, makeup session. It's okay. So, I can sleep after school. The next session will be on the 28th. 28th. It will be... Okay. Okay. And since Deadeye's been the main scout, we can, she probably has the, a good estimate of what forces are there and what we should be expecting. So, you're recommending this approach, Jess? Okay. Okay. Well, at least we don't have to deal with the minefield out in the farm fields. And while we're walking through the click, oh, for God's sakes, it's a good field. Click! Oh, great. 15 bouncing Bettys. Just send Vern out there first and just make sure he just rolls around a bit. And just <laughs> sets them all off. No, no, no. Just make Vern run through the field. <laughs> Vern, pull a song and dance number out there in the middle of the field. Do as much choreography as you can. Yes, yeah, I just follow my footsteps. By just, like, holding him down with a bunch of really powerful magnets and telling him to start running. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't even got to meet the wild commissar yet. I can't wait for that experience. I just got this idea. We just pull the same exact stunt as we're having in Galaxy Quest. Just have him drag a whole bunch of mines toward you. <laughs> 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 That's one thing you don't realize. Our, our fight is dragging mines. 
Uh, you literally just got ropes tied to them. You dragging them. But, uh, alrighty. So, Jess has got some very excellent plans. If uh, both Jess and Bob could roll their tactica, I will give a GM assessment based on your present knowledge. Okay, so that is plus 10 with intelligence, so that would be 48. Okay, so uh, with the fate point and with the regular roll for Alex, uh, Lynn's plan does sound like it could potentially be very good. You do want more information before you commit to anything like this. Um, hopefully, Deadeye and uh, Steyer will be a little more helpful, or maybe the Commissar will also have some information, but Commissars don't usually deal with tactics. Commissars tend to be morale officers. Um, and, the few ta- and the few tactics they do have is just throw enough bodies at something that would solve the problem. Yeah. Um, the uh, plan to try and take out the vehicle shelling the uh, pit here probably would do very good to improve morale, but approaching from the pit is pure suicide because this is a great big wide open space with very little cover and it's being constantly bombarded by explosives. Also full of dead people, Lottie. Yes, that was actually something else that uh, Dahlia didn't actually get to, or was a stire. One of the two was going to say, the reason we're wearing gas masks, uh, uh, are you saying that you're leaving, Brooke, or are you saying Kieran? I said Kieran. I was mumbling that in character. Well, thinking that in character. Okay. Um, but yeah, the fact that corpses are getting shelled, uh, there's some obvious health hazards there. In other character, we have a giant pit for the decaying corpses, for the disease and rot, right next to a giant building dedicated toward Nurgle. I don't like this. <laughs> and Vern just walks through it. <laughs> That's how <laughs> we have taken care of all of the Medusas. Nothing can go wrong now. Bunch of plague marines just appear in the middle of the graveyard. Fuck! I'm more worried about one of his most popular diseases that Nick has, the, his Nuggle of Disease Zombies. <laughs> okay, just, uh, I'm trying to read the English here. You see, Vladimir, when you wear armor like mine, enemy will never be of shoot you for fear of explode city block. <laughs> I'm just but, pointed a lot of those mines. Frosty, I do believe you've got to head off. Yeah, I was just about All right. to say that. Have yourself a good day at school, and uh, we'll try not to Never. have Kieran. Don't tell me what to do. We'll, we'll try to avoid Kieran in, uh, conjuring Slanesh in your absence. <laughs> also, Joe, what good night? It's fucking morning. No, I said bye bye. Okay. That's good night. That was for me. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, so uh Tyrion. Yes. Yeah. Sneak, 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 sneak through the hallways. Sneak, 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 sneak. Um They will head straight to the uh barracks. Um Dead Eye will shout to the people who are in there, uh, clear out, and uh, I guess that is kind of me in assassin mode, isn't it? Uh, people will look to Dead Eye and uh, will basically obey her very loud shout. And even though some of these soldiers are just in their underwear or only have a towel wrapped around them because they were in the showers, they'll get out of the barracks. Um, and uh, to uh, get in while everyone else is getting out, give me a little acrobatics to squeeze by. Oh. 
<laughs> you basically get <laughs> you basically you get knocked on your ass by one of the big burly soldiers and in the process uh knock off his towel and you're on the ground and he's standing over you you're a little distracted for a moment as uh these two disappear into the room can i stay outside the door it's a a rather large sorry what can i stay outside the door it's a rather large room it's it's like enough bunk beds for a hundred people shit okay uh, the, the naked man would pick up his towel and then offer you a hand to your feet. Well, yeah, I'll take it to make it a little awkward. That's not the phrase right, but to make it less awkward. It's already pretty awkward, so uh, uh, he'll uh, walk away at that point. So the room's pretty much cleared out except for those two. Are you going to try to sneak into the room? Yes. Okay, give me your move silent and conceal. I'm intrigued at this point. Nope, nope, I'm not sneaking in. (laughs) And give me your move silent. Oh! So at least you're quiet. Quiet elephant. Uh, Dead Eye will show. Seriously, give us freaking privacy here. I'm not ready to give up. Sorry, what was that? I said I'm not ready to give up. Out of character, I'm really tempted to pull out the rosette. Okay, well. Are you going to still try to get in the room or are you just going to listen from the doorway? Um, can I attempt it again? Um, basically, at this point, they will receive a bonus to their perception to catch you. And uh, Deadeye, being a sniper, has very high perception to begin with, just to warn you. What's your decision? I'm going in. <laughs> okay, you can get another conceal. It's better. And let me just confirm your number of the degrees there. So you conceal is plus 30, plus you have plus 20 from your armor, assuming you've activated it. Of course, um, my hood is up at this point. So that's a 93 DC then, and uh, interesting, 39 minus 93. So you have five degrees of success. And this is going to be her perception. And with her bonus, where is my stats for sniper? How did it end up at the bottom of the pile? Okay, there we go. Uh, I think it was 50, okay. Yeah, so you win that, uh, You, well, as far as you're aware, so I guess I shouldn't have revealed that. But yeah, you're in, you're stealthy enough. Um, so at the moment, the two of them are uh, basically at the far end of the room in one of the corners on, the bank, uh, on a bunk bed, and you're just sort of approaching quietly. Well, you were quietly until you gave yourself a new role. Oh, I didn't know if you were going to make me roll again or not for a moment. <laughs> uh, um, I guess I shouldn't have rolled preemptively. That's my fault. Well, you'll be able to get close before, uh, and you'll be able to overhear some stuff before, you know, it'll be cut short. Um, so, uh, Dial will be talking to Gray saying, look, you're in charge now. You can't fall apart like this. If the commissar catches wind of this, I 
you, you could, and at that point, Grace is just sort of, I don't care anymore. Maybe the commissar should just kill me. Oh, I, I, I've tried so hard. I really have, but I wasn't meant to command all these people. I mean, barely commanding the one platoon. And, uh, that I would respond, no, no, look, look, just, you're under a lot of stress. You need to sleep. I know you haven't slept in days. Just put your head down on the pillow, close your eyes, and just shut your brain off for a few hours. Come on, you you can do that, right? You're a soldier. And uh, so pep talk from Dead Eye is not going to be too good. But, uh, yeah, her pep talk is shit. But uh, let's see if Grace can conjure up the willpower Okay, Grace is actually going to do it. She's she's going to say, okay, okay. And she starts to lie down, and Deadeye's about to say some more when she turns around and looks, tearing, dead in the eyes, uh, glaring. And then she realizes that it's not one of the soldiers. And she'll just sort of tuck Grace in, and then uh, she'll come quietly over to Tyr and say, really need to follow us yes and she'll pull out the rose the rose that she got in the gift uh, at that point dead eyes jaw just drops I figured I needed to know who we were working with and what exactly the situation was here Uh, uh, um, uh, she just kind of stammers for a moment. <laughs> Are you going to give her a specific question or a specific order? Um, other than don't let any any of the others know that we're here. No, probably not. She'll nod her head. And so she's just waiting for what your directions are. Um, I'm going to say try to get the field commander under control as much as possible. I have a feeling we're going to rely on the two of you going forward. I, absolutely. I think uh, she'll look over her head. And uh, Grace is, is just sort of bundled up in the fetal position in the bed. Um, that I will look back to here and say, I, I think that situation is under control for now. Um, uh, I, I told her to go to sleep, so I, I think I think she will. She she needs it. She hasn't been she hasn't slept in days, uh, ma'am, sir. Um, what, what do I call you? Ma'am would be fine. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. I, uh, uh, did, did your, did the other ones want me back, right? Or well, what's going on then? I think they're expecting you. I'm sure they have questions about the situation as well. Right. Okay. Uh, yes. And, uh, she'll give a salute very awkwardly because she's not sure if she's supposed to salute the Inquisition. <laughs> so, Kieran, are you just going to let her keep awkwardly saluting, or are you going to tell her to get moving? Uh, I I will tell her to hurry back. Okay. Are you coming too, or are you just sending her on her own? I'm going to send her on my own because I think it would be weird to suddenly reappear in the room. What do you mean? Well, I guess I could attempt to do it quietly and stealthily, but we saw how well that is going. So I'm going to just disappear for a while. All right. Well, if you want to just go explore for a bit, uh, give me a perception roll. Okay, you overhear a couple of soldiers uh, talking about the commissar. 
and uh, one of the soldiers asks the other, well, has it really been a thousand? No, no, no. So it's, it's closer to 750. Still, 750 of our own soldiers killed by a fucking commissar? <laughs> they, they, they were executions. 750 executions. That's, that's obscene. Don't let anyone hear you say that. Like, um, okay, okay, Chet. Just 750? We, we only had 2,000 to start with. So uh, at that point, they noticed that there was somebody else listening in and they'd stop their conversation. This guy, this guy is a nut job. <laughs> I don't know much about the military, but this guy seems like a nut job. This is no more commissar. <laughs> yeah, just, just can let you know if uh, 750 executions is um, inappropriate or not. Then again, do be reminded that this is an Imperial Guard Commissar who is now dealing with PDF troops. And PDF troops are not typically as well-trained as Imperial Guard troops. They're the ones who don't make the cut. Yeah. Uh, pretty much, if a Commissar finds you weak or waning at all on the battlefield, he has every point in his authority to shoot you on sight. Okay. I don't know that Tyrion would necessarily know all of that in character. True enough. I yeah. think she thinks he's a whack job. Fair enough. Yep. He wakes up in the morning, picks up his bull pistol, steps outside. Lucy, we got some blamming to do. Oh, he's doing his job. He's working his job extra hard. <laughs> Maybe I will mosey on into the room because this is kind of important information that I just found out. Okay. So I'm afraid we're going to have to pause it there, though, because uh, I want Burn to uh, overhear that announcement uh, and also to, you know, <laughs> when Dead Eye gets back, I'd like everyone to be involved. Uh, so, uh, sorry? Plus, it is getting kind of late. Yep. So, thank you all for having the uh, makeup game. And the next one will be on the 28th. Uh, I don't think we're going to have Fungi back yet for a game. But if we do, uh, uh, Jess. I would like to apologize again for my mistake of what time we were supposed to start tonight and me being so late for that. I apologize. Uh, well, uh, I guess we'll call it a night and uh, have yourselves a good evening, everybody. Yep. Okay. All right.